Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix FPS drops, frame lags, and stutter in the final season streaks dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that search for settings onto your PC. Once you're in your settings, head down to personalization and then click on colors and right over here you have to disable transparency effects. After that, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service and opening up in the game would be depreciating your graphic quality and utilizing this while you're in the game could cause you fps so simply disable that head back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to improve your fps drastically after that click on the graphics button over here and enable optimizations for windowed games and then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerator gpu scheduling both of these options would help you to disable input latency and utilize your graphic card to improve the performance of your game after that head over to your game on your steam and right click on that head over to manage and then click on browse local files then you need to copy this file path over here and then click on add desktop app over here paste the file path right over here and press enter and this will take you to the finals installation folder select discovery.txt and then click on the add button once that is added, scroll a bit down to find it, click on that. And then for the GPU preference, select high performance to utilize your graphic card. After that, click on add desktop app once again. And over here, you have to head over to discovery, binaries, Win64, and you'll find discovery.txt over here once again. Click on the add button. And if that is added, you need to scroll a bit down to find it. Click on it and then you have to set the GPU preference to high performance and that should be it. It will now utilize your graphic card to improve the performance of your game. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editors and click on that. This option will only be available for Windows Pro users. So over here, double click on computer configuration and then head over to administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy. And right over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. You need to enable this policy to ensure that this is in action. And for the policy options, you're gonna have to set it to force deny to deny all of the applications running in the background. In Windows 10, you guys can simply disable background apps right from your settings. But in Windows 11, this is how you do that. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is de-animating Windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And then over here, select custom and only enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These are the only options you wanna have to keep enabled to ensure you get the basic minimal look of your windows while disabling every unwanted aesthetic animations that might be causing you some micro stutters. Once again, this might not give you the best FPS or a significant FPS boost, but it helps you to reduce a bit of your input latency. After that, click on the apply button and then click on OK. After that, you wanna have to search for device manager on your PC and once you're over here you have to scroll a bit down until you find system devices then you have to find composite bus enumerator and you wanna have to disable that after that search for high precision event timer and right click on that and click on disable device over here as well additionally if you find numeric data processor or SM bus controller you guys need to disable that to improve the performance and reduce input latency because these are some devices which are leading cause of input latency in the games after that you also have to head over to your network adapters and then look for your ethernet cable
cable if you have it. If you have a Wi-Fi, right click on that and head over to its properties. In both the case, head over to power management and ensure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is checked off. If this option is turned on, high chances are that when your PC is consuming more power while rendering your games, it might be turning off your Ethernet cable that which can cause ping issues, packet loss and other complicated issues. Simply uncheck that and click on OK. After that, close this. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point over here and then you have to scroll a bit down to find local disk C. Click on the create button and name it finals just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, close and then close system properties. Next step is the finals season 6 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in 6 simple folders over here. The first one is CP priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CP priority. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. In both of them, it will apply the best settings for your processor to improve the performance. Next one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32GB RAM so I need to apply this one. Could be different for you so you guys can go and check out the one which is relevant to your PC. And once again, it's simple, simply double click to apply it and if that doesn't work out well, you guys can reset it back to default right over here. Third one is the finals optimization in which I have left the high priority registry. This will help you to set up the correct D word for your game to prioritize and Utilize all of the cores for performance. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of registries which helps you to disable unnecessary and unwanted services on your PC which you do not use. This will help you to improve the performance of your PC drastically. In case you use any Bluetooth devices or any printer devices, leave these two as it is and run every single registry right over here. And once again, if you want to revert them back, use the revert registries folder. Fifth one is for the input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency fix for which I would request you guys to leave your keyboard and mouse specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. And for the mouse registry, you need to apply this fix mouse curve which will help you to set up the correct X and Y curve for your mouse. This will help you to drastically improve the performance of your mouse and this setting is inspired by the pros. Last and the final folder over here is programs in which I have left Bearfox PC Optimizer, you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press the enter key and this will create a restore point in the background. Press enter once again and then keep pressing enter until all of this is done. It will help you to perform all of the necessary actions to improve the performance of your PC and that should be it. I have already done it. Next one is clean temporary files which you have to right click and run it as administrator and once it opens up, press enter and it will start deleting all temporary files right off your PC and this is a very healthy process and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run it as administrator. Once this software opens up, what you have to do is locate your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, go with high and click on apply. This will ensure that you are using higher interrupts to improve the performance of your GPU and make it handle more interrupts possible without overclocking it. Next is quick CPU and once you open this application up, what you guys have to do is set your power plan. If you guys have ultimate performance, you have to select that. I have gone with Pro PC Max Performance. For the power mode, go with maximum performance overlay. And then over here, you have to slide all of these indexes up to 100%. This includes score parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance over here. Click on the apply button and this will disable core parking on your PC, which will help you to drastically improve the performance of your PC. Once that is done, simply close the FPS pack and you are good to go. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and all kind of network issues using no ping for which you guys can find a link to in the description below. Once you open up this application, you guys can see a very simple interface like this which shows you your PC stats. It offers you more than 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for the finals over here. Click on it and then let it choose the automatic server for you guys. It will show you the server with the lowest amount of ping. Right over here, it has figured out 52 milliseconds of ping which is the lowest I can get. Simply click on optimize this game and this will start boosting your ping in a single click. Not just that, if you head over to the boost FPS section and enable these options right over here, you guys can also improve the performance 
of your games drastically. I personally use Noping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements. I recommend you guys to go check out Noping for yourself for free from the link in the description below. And once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Right over here, go down to the video settings and then for the window mode, make sure that you're using borderless full screen. This is because you can utilize DLSS4 or the new AMD upscaling methods. Vsync should be turned off and Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, if you guys have it, set it to on plus boost. Then for the frame rate limit, I have set it to unlimited. Upscale resolution, go with 100%. Resolution scaling method, I have gone with Nvidia DLSS and the DLSS quality to DLAA. If your graphic card does not support it, you guys can go with balanced or performance because that is going to give you increased FPS. The Nvidia DLSS model should be set to transformer if that is available for you since it utilizes DLSS 4, but it is more GPU intensive. If this doesn't work out well, you guys can go with CNN. FOV should be set to 85, motion blur disabled, lens distortion disabled, NVIDIA RTX global illumination I have gone with static. And then for the quality, view distance medium, anti-aliasing medium, shadows and post-processing low, textures high, effects medium, reflections foliage and global illumination resolution go with low. Once all of that is done, head down to energy saving and you guys have to set it to disabled and inactive window energy saving enable this and the setting over here is in-game performance overlay set this thing to disabled once that is done press your escape key and now you guys can drop into the game with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers i hope you guys have a good time playing the final season 6 we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out